I'm telling you, if you're not investing in this place, it's going to get way too expensive in five to 10 years for anyone regular to invest into this place. You should invest now, like seriously. What's going on guys? Today is Tuesday, July 23rd. <laughs> Yo, um, man, I hope you guys are well, wherever you are watching me. And man, I wanted to speak briefly, real fast about what my channel is about, okay? Because, you know, I'm doing the hero story framework. I'm, I'm coaching people over 40 on building out their hero story framework. I'm building a startup and I'm living in Cartagena, Colombia. Not full time. Of course, we have the uh, HQ here, but also I spend a lot of time in Buffalo as well. OK, in Atlanta. Um, I've founded several businesses, four of which I can say I was building and I have had one exit, which I've sold a business, which was my container shop in Atlanta, right? Um, I have been a professional basketball player in Argentina, um, scholarships and college to play basketball, but I've also went to prison after my basketball career. So I, I went from, <laughs> I literally went from being a professional basketball player in 2004 to 2005, my life out of control. Um, 2006, charged with putting false information on a firearms application. The story is somewhere on my channel. You can, you know, probably search that. Um, in the nepotism video, I speak about all of that up to starting these businesses, the insecurity of going to prison, not going, but coming out of prison, trying to find something that I could do when you know you have this record, kind of help my entrepreneurship journey because I'm so insecure trying to go get a a job and check mark the box. Have you ever been convicted of a felony, right? So that kind of liaison, I was already entrepreneurial a little bit. Um, but that pushed me over the edge, right? All the way to starting Swag University, that production company, all of that stuff somewhere in these, in these videos, you can find a lot of these stories that I tell. Uh, all the way to 2015, which was one of the worst times around my life where uh, I was charged again and went through that. Left on the other side with a misdemeanor for something I didn't do, but it was highly publicized to my father passing away in 2016, my grandmother passing away in 2018, to uh, in between there, being a single father of my two oldest daughters, that being taken away from me. So, as a man of 44 years, I've been through a lot, and I'm not gonna get into the things that I've had and the money and all that. that none of that matters. Um, I just go back to what this channel is about. This channel is about resilience, independence love doing what you desire to do and chasing what you're supposed to do on planet earth which is your purpose and instead of talking so much about it i'm showing it and i'm telling the story from the origin from the beginning and that's why i reset up my channel the way it is right and that's what this channel is about. It's about 
the independence of showing you a guy that's went through so many stages of my life and still is going out being independent and killing and only eating what I kill, right? Only eating what I kill and doing this all through my own personal journey and my own personal story. No cosigns, none of that, okay? Um, and that's what this channel is about. It's a journey. And I'm hoping people are going, coming along on this journey with me and getting some type of inspiration because I'm no different than anyone else. And I am promise, I like really, really do promise that you can do the exact same thing. You just have to start. And that's the reason why I started that, the Hero Story Framework, because it's like been on my heart for so long because I'm like, I've done this documenting for 18 years. And the one thing that has remained consistent is whatever business I started, whatever endeavor I've done, whatever I have done has been because of story and putting that story together and selling that story to make income and to make profit. And in between there, adding the value that it's worth, right? And now we are on another level of business, specifically solving and identifying targeted problems with my startup, with the hero story framework. That's you no know, targeted pro problem for athletes with my startup, targeted problem for people over 40 that just won't do it and they have less time left than they think. It's, it's not just for you to be on YouTube and it's more than that. It's, it's more is needed to cement yourself in legacy and in history, okay? But I just wanted to say that because that's what this channel is about. You know, um, today I'm going to a neighborhood and it's about 15 minutes from downtown in Cartagena. And this is an up and coming neighborhood. Uh, I'm going to be looking at uh, prices of property land and things like that. And it's a community. And this is something that I may want to get in early on. And I want to take you guys along the journey with me to go check out this new development that's happening because this city is a growing city. It's not going away. I know guys come for pay for play, they come for uh, enjoyment and shit like that, but people that specifically come here for that, missing out on huge opportunities. And that's what I'm about, is taking advantage of opportunities, okay? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my day and um, that's where we're at today. But yeah, I wanted to share what this channel is about, like what you're subscribing to when you subscribe to me. You're subscribing to independence, resilience, story, business, okay? And that's what it is. What's going on, guys? It is 9.53 in the morning. I've been doing work here and Man, I wanted to share this because, so if you've been watching me, you know that I'm working on the Hero Story Framework. Uh, this is my board right here. I'm going to do uh, part two today of the, of the course. And I'm sitting here watching this. It's crazy because a lot, a lot of the things that, uh, I do is a lot of a lot of research 
Um, right now, I'm going into a realm that I really haven't done before, which is coaching. Um, and helping others with their hero story and taking them through what I've experienced putting together and doing for 18 years and documenting and flushing out my hero story to make business from my story because everything starts from story and business, right? And I'm listening to this Think Media podcast and this guy is talking about crazy, crazy numbers. Like my price is like 997 for my five week course, but it's over 18 years of knowledge, right? That you get access to me. And this guy is talking about something for like 75. Just watch, just watch. I just want, just, just watch. Keynote deck and a workbook. So you're clicking through the keynote and they're filling out the workbook as you go along. That would be a product that you could sell for 7,500 bucks. A lot of coaches, well, honestly, that's cheap. Fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. We sell them for twenty thousand mm-hmm. dollars. So you know, the, and also if you create the keynote deck and the workbook, I can charge twenty thousand dollars for somebody else coming in. We have three or four facilitators who go do that. Do you hear these numbers? So that is the end of part two of the Hero Story Framework Journey of Findings. I really, really hope that you guys are really excited about what you are uncovering up until this point from origin story to your journey of findings. And I'm hoping and I'm going to help you if you if you have not started seeing the results up until this point, because you should start seeing the results and thinking how to implement even from part one and part two into your hero story that you are going to use moving forward, whether it's your personal brand or whether it's within your business that you're building the hero story from, okay? So I just finished the the board talk for the hero story framework part two, which is the journey of findings. Man, it's like, like it's it's, it's deep stuff, man. Like it it really is, It's, it's, it's deep stuff. If you, do the work within yourself and but and you're self-aware and honest with yourself during this this framework like i promise you it's like complete tra- it's going to create a complete transformation like seriously people like to lie to themselves shit we all are a culprit of it you know telling ourselves what we are <laughs> you know <laughs> our point of view we you know a lot of times we aren't as self-aware as we need to be and um that's where it starts is being self-aware uh, yeah i'm really really happy how it turned out of course i have to edit it down and everything like that but um, I'm so, so excited about this framework. Um, super excited about being able to help people through my experiences, you know? Really excited about that. Um, so yeah, so let me dive in. Do some work. A lot of people dream of being an entrepreneur or <clears throat> being an entrepreneur, creating a business or making an impact from their story or and from doing that, living life on their own terms. I 
I've leveraged my 18 years of experience in starting Taxi cab ride into this development, um, and a little bit late. The first first look is at 1:30, and I think it's another one at 2:30, and I think it's another one at 3:30. I'm not sure if I'm going to be staying here until 3:30 though. But um, yeah, I'm headed headed out there now. It says like 15 minutes outside of the city, so I wanted to see how far the drive is. I left from uh, Central, which is downtown area here in Cartagena, and um, we will see how far this ride really is. Because I wouldn't want to live that that far outside of the city. So, depending on how nice it is, and depending depending on the development, depending on a lot of different things, whether they have all of the amenities that you need in the area. And then you only come to uh, the city for, uh, you know, to go to central restaurants and things like that, or to Boca Grande for the beach or um, something like that. But we shall see. So I'm headed there now. All right. So this is the place right here. You can see. Um, this is one of the buildings, but it's over there. It's a development. So all of this is going to be developed. It's a beachfront. The only thing is, the thing is I just wasted my time coming out here because they set an appointment for me. And the guy at the gate said, there's nobody in the offices. So I just wasted my complete time coming all the way out here. And it is, it's about 15 minutes from the city. But if you look, man, it does look like a really, really beautiful neighborhood for sure. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to come back out here, but yeah, look, this is like one right there. But yeah, I'm headed back to uh, to the city. But yeah, so that's like the, the main building right there. It's his own little like township that they're building up. You see the construction going on over there. Uh, I'm telling you, if you're not, investing in this place is going to get way too expensive in five to ten years for anyone regular to invest into this place you should invest now like seriously it's still affordable and i would say not in like castillo and not in boca because i think all of this stuff is going to be built up look look all of this is going to be built up it's all on the ocean like, trust me, mark, mark the words that I said, 723-2024, trust me, anywhere that is an ocean, they're always going to continue to build high rises because it's always going to be a destination. The weather never gets bad here, never, never gets bad here. It's always 90 degrees. This is always going to be a destination. It's only going to improve in the amenities and uh, development and things like that. So, hey, I don't want to say I told you so, but that will probably happen for people that just like, don't take advantage, so.